Well, overnight, 10-year Treasury futures spiked to near a 21-month 20 high, all on Draghi Sintra speech uh, that happened at about 4 a.m. Eastern time today, uh, talking about leaving the door open to further accommodation. Definitely uh, pushed the futures up uh, to levels we haven't seen in a while. The yield of the 10-year at the low point today was 2 spot 018. A lot of technicians looking to see if and when futures will rally enough to pierce that 2% yield. On uh, U.S. shores, we had housing data, largely uninventful. Um, single family uh, permits were, were down, multifamily uh, permits were up. Uh, that said, permits in general were down. However, with April revision upward, upward wise, uh, put the number at, 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 a, at an area that was not too controversial to anybody. But that said, most people aren't even looking at these numbers right now, and all eyes are focused on the FOMC and what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, some people continue to think that there's going to be some type of announcement of a preemptive cut, whether that be tomorrow or July is anybody's guess. However, um, given that German yields are down another five basis points today to a negative 29.6, some people feel that Draghi, I'm sorry, that uh, the FOMC, Powell, will in effect use global growth as a uh, conduit for a pre preemptive cut. Some also believe that uh, perhaps patience will be used again, and some people are afraid of that word patience being used tomorrow, uh, given that there won't be a preemptive cut, and then perhaps we'll see a very big risk off market. But not today. Uh, yields are down, stock market's up, dollar's up oil's up and uh, all eyes and I guess all consensus right now is pointing to uh, some type of cut being announced tomorrow.